Posture Screen and Posture Array keys are configured in the system by going to Configuration, Third Party Services, Patient File Upload Service. The keys are linked to a user's login. The Posture Screen or Posture Array uploads will ha then have access to any patient accounts that user has access to. First, select the vendor from the drop down. We match on the vendor name and the key, so make sure you choose the right one. Next, click Activate Service to generate a key. You can now email this key to the address associated with your login. Um, if that email address is not accessible on the iPad or the computer that has the program, you can type the displayed key into Posture Screen or Posture Array. Emailing it just allows you to copy and paste. If you're going to use both Posture Screen and Posture Array, you will need to set up each service under a different login, as each login is limited to using a single upload service. You will be able to see the uploads from either service within the Patient Account Files tab. If you use multiple patient accounts and or have access to multiple practices, you can set default account ID suffixes or practice ID that the system should look at to upload the file to. For posture screen, the system matches on the first name, last name, and date of birth. These need to match exactly or the system will create a new account and save the files there. If you have not set a default suffix and you use multiple patient accounts, the system will not be able to determine which account to store the files in, so it will create a task and upload the files there so you can access them and put them on the correct account manually. For Posture Array, the system will again match on the first name, last name, and date of birth and create an account if it can't find an exact match, unless the patient ID in Posture Array is filled in. If the ID is filled in, it will try to match it with the account number on a patient account. If the ID does not match any patient account number in your practice, you will get the error, um, error exporting to EHR. Some files were not sent correctly. Please try again. If you get this error, you just need to check the ID in Posture Array and update it so it matches the account in the system. If you have any questions, please create a task to the help desk by going to help open help request task. Have a great day.